Right, so I'm just going to do a very simple break line. It's uh, nothing special and you could probably all work this out on your own, but it's good to practice basic drawing techniques. So I'll start by making a layer, which I can use for all of these symbolic type elements. So I'm just going to call it A and O symbol. And like most annotation, just keep it white. And the line weight here, uh, I might just make this default. So default should be 0.25. And uh, that's, that's it, I'll make it. Oh, is it? Um, where's it saying that? In your... Oh, it should... Yeah, new default. Yeah, that's right. So if you want to see what your default is, I'm just showing you. So here, when you go to this one, you can go down to line weight settings, yeah. and then it'll tell you what your default is. And you can change it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it should be 0.25 normally. Okay, so now I'm just going to draw a line. You'd be amazed how simple this is. I'm going to draw a line from the uh, one side of my wall across to the other side. And then you can see my batting is going over it. So I'm just going to go back to that and change my number of rows to 22. And I'm then going to simply insert the block again. Which you can see because I didn't change the base point isn't lining up exactly. So I'm just going to insert that and then uh, move it. It doesn't matter because I'm going to explode it. So now I can explode that batting and delete the parts I don't want and trim them, of course, and uh, that's just to keep it tidy. So again, what I really want to show you though is how to make this simple break line. So I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint of that line I've just drawn and then turn auto off and then put that to the angle I want. So this is purely done by eye. There's no need for measurements here. We're just trying to get that look of the break line angle that we want. Why did you just that right angle symbol on the status bar. Ah, okay. So we don't want all ortho or pole up because I just want to get angles in between. And so I've drawn my line with the angle that I want, and this angle is going to be used for all my uh, little angle symbols, or my break symbols, so I might just adjust it a little bit, so I've selected the line, and then using the grips I can get the angle maybe three a bit different, and what so that's... What you that? Oh, whatever you think looks good. It's purely personal decision. Yeah. Um. yeah, it's just a break line. So, yeah, and if you don't like it, you can always just do it again. So. So I'll select that now and then use mirror, pick it up on the end, and then now I'll turn ortho back on so that it goes straight down and gives me a vertical line. Click again, enter, and I've got my symmetrical angled line. Yeah, so I'll repeat that. Okay, so I'll undo that. Okay, so I just selected my angled line and clicked mirror and then use the top of that line for my mirror line. And then straight down to make a vertical mirror line. So there you want auto to be on. Yeah. So click on the end first, and then come straight down. No, no, click down below. So click, yeah. So you've got to keep that, the trick is keeping that line straight. That's why you want auto on. So it gives you a perfectly vertical mirror line. Yep, so just click, yep, and then enter. Yep. So I've got my two lines, my little triangle. Now I'm going to select both of those lines and do mirror again. And that's right, the other way. So click on the bottom of one of those lines and then come straight across to get a horizontal mirror line. Click again, enter. And then I'll select my two new lines and simply choose move to bring them across by snapping to bottom left corner of the triangle and then coming over to the bottom right corner and we've got a perfect little break line. 
No, so I moved it. Mirror would have worked, but they're probably easier to move. Yeah, so that's fine. So that's, sometimes you've got to have a few goes at it. So it all comes back to that initial line. So if you don't like it, just come back to the first line and repeat the whole process after you've adjusted the line to a different angle. So I've done all of that, and now I can use Trim. And here I'll just press Enter to make everything cut and choose the parts I want to take away. I can even cut my little batting there because it's been exploded. And then I'll simply bring these out, and it's nice to keep it the same on both sides, so maybe we'll just bring it out 10 both sides. And there we are. Could even come out further maybe, but this is just whatever you think looks good on the screen. There we are. So that's it. And um, now you could heavy the line weight up a little bit maybe. Um, Symbolic things, you've always got to use a little bit of judgment. You don't want them to be too heavy, but you don't want them to be as light as the lightest things. So you could make it a bit heavier if you want to. Um, it'll print a bit heavier than it looks on the screen anyway. But uh, maybe 0.25 for detail. So that definitely for one, 1 to 100 and drawings like that, 0.25 is perfect. But for this, maybe 0.3, just to make it a little bit heavier. Mm. You can see suddenly on the screen it looks a lot heavier, but this is not the way it would look when it prints. Still in two minds about that, but up to you, 0.3 or 0.25, they're both going to print pretty much the same anyway. Yeah. And it's weird, the way it looks on the screen, you can see suddenly it looks like it's thin, even though, again, it's 0.3. Uh, my batting, I've got a layer called uh, A batting. Yeah, 0.18, yep. Yeah. 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 So then you continue that on, you can simply now copy and, and pretty much just reverse that. And I know we haven't done the shadow line, but that's maybe one you can try. It's a very easy little profile to draw. And it would just fit in around your 13mm plasterboard nicely. And the, uh, the depth there is about 10mm usually, 10 to 15, which I might have given you a size, but otherwise maybe 15 mil gap and then make the profile uh, depth about 10, otherwise that's a fairly easy one to try, and uh, that should do it. So, you know, if you set, select your break line lines, copy them, certain distance up, and then just continue copying all of these other elements up. Mirroring probably isn't really helpful here because it's not really a mirror image, so instead copying the lines you have there, again just about how it snaps together, and uh, putting in the same stud profile at the top for your top plate. Uh, try and establish a line for the ceiling and you could just draw the hangers and the, uh, the clips that you've got here uh, as they're shown in this detail. I will give you a block for some hangers as well at some point. I've got one, that's great. Yeah, I'll give you, give you that, but for now if you just draw lines for the hangers. That's fine, just like you've got, that's really what John's drawn here, these lines, but you can put in the proper blocks afterwards. But you know, keep it simple to start with. Don't worry about this, what's this, did, did he explain what the wavy one was for? Oh, right. Oh, so sarking, is it? Is that what he's, yeah. I didn't understand that word, but he just said it's plastic. Okay. Sarking? Yeah, that'd be normally the, the foil though, that's not plastic, so sarking's a bit different. Um, plastic. Yeah, stop noise, okay. Yeah, so you were saying that's one way to insulate 
the noise. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so acoustic separation. Okay, yeah, all right, okay, all right, that's his take, oh, yeah, okay, yep, yep, sure. So you just use a spline for that. Yes, yeah, splines are perfect, yeah. Oh, okay, sure, I'll have a look, yeah, I'll come out there. Okay, so anyhow, that should be enough to, to finish that one off and we'll, again, be able to get lots of variations on this. Once you've got that basic set up, because everything's done, been done pretty carefully, uh, it's easy then to do variations on it. Uh, you could, yeah, yeah, definitely um, before you go to the next one, block it. But uh, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, definitely make a block before you go to do the next ones for sure, yeah.